That's right, Gina, a very rare site. So infrequent, infrequently is New Orleans used as an evacuation location. Usually New Orleans is always the threat or the target, it seems like. Not the case right now. We all know this storm is heading towards Lake Charles and southwest Louisiana. So therefore, emergency leaders are sending a lot of people, dozens upon dozens, really hundreds, straight down I-10, three plus hours to New Orleans. And take a look at this video. Dozens of people arrived here. About 90 minutes ago, we were here as they got off the bus. A lot of them nervous, a lot of them scared, a lot of them listening to the governor as well as emergency leaders in Calcasieu Paris, which is where Lake Charles is. They were told to get out, head to higher ground. They went to the pickup points and now they're here in New Orleans. Like I said, usually people in New Orleans are heading out and going to Texas or Jackson, Mississippi or Atlanta. Rarely does this happen, but given the fact that we're so far away from where the storm is going to make landfall and the fact that due to COVID, we have so many hotel rooms. We are now in evacuation location. We caught up with one man who evacuated with his six month old baby. Here's what he had to tell us. It's really crazy because like this, this is really my first time coming out here, but it's, it's just I, I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't really expecting it. And, and with her, it's really kind of hard, but it, it's, it's good. How concerned are you for your hometown right now looking at this storm? I mean, I, I feel bad, like, because we don't, we don't really know how, how bad it's going to be. And uh, my, my, my parents still out there, so it's like, it's hard. It's hard. Parents going to leave? they supposed to be leaving. I hope so. I hope his parents get out as well. You can see how difficult it is just trying to evacuate, then evacuating with the child. And that man was not the only person that evacuated with the small child. These people told us they took what they could and they headed to higher ground. You know, I know Margaret touched on this. This is eerily reminiscent to Hurricane Katrina when people tried to get out as fast as they could, grabbed whatever they could and headed to higher ground. It's just a scene that nobody wants to see because a lot of these people that got off that bus realized the potential damage that could be done to Lake Charles.